This video will help you figure out what is a scholarly or peer-reviewed journal and help you find them. For the most part, scholarly, academic, referred, and peer review all pretty much refer to the same type of thing. To best understand it, it may be easiest to compare a scholarly journal with that of a popular or trade magazine and notice the differences. Popular and trade magazines have stories that are written by journalists. These people are paid to do their writing. They're sold in stores and they're published to make money, so they're often filled with advertisements. They often have colorful, but not essential pictures. Authors and sources may not even be mentioned directly. Sometimes you'll hear things like, research shows or experts agree, but they won't tell you what research or what experts and where they're agreeing. They're often published on glossy paper and they're written to be understood by the general public. The articles may have vague and witty titles. A scholarly journal is something different. First, it's written by the persons doing the research. They're sold to two groups, professionals and academic libraries, so people can study for a profession. They're published to further knowledge in a particular field. Many have charts and graphs, and the author is always named, and the sources are clearly stated, so you can check them yourself. They often have words like journal, proceedings, annals, or review in the title of the publication. The key thing is the articles look like research papers. They're written to be understood by those in the same field, so they're often filled with a lot of jargon or vocabulary specific to that field. Often they have an abstract. Article titles are usually very clear about the contents of the article. Popular trade or commercial publications may report about research, but that's different from a research article. Consider these two articles. They both talk about the exact same study. The one on the left is only 500 words and summarizes the findings of a study in layman's term. It was written by a staff writer of Health News whose name wasn't published with the story. The article written on the right is by seven people who did the research. It's eight pages and gives full explanation of their methods, results, and comments, including areas they feel need further study. Last of all, it contains a bibliography of 46 sources they used in conducting their research. The article is from the Journal of the American Medical Association, and it went through the peer review process. So what is peer review? Before an article gets published, it's looked over, reviewed, by another professional in the same field, a peer. Only when the reviewer is satisfied that the article follows proper research and writing criteria for that journal will the article get published. This process may take anywhere from six months to a year. So I'm clear, all peer-reviewed articles are scholarly, but not every scholarly article goes through the rigor of a peer review. So how do you find them? Well, if you're using EBSCO or ProQuest, there's often an option to select before you do your search that says you want to limit your results to peer review. If you're using Summon, use the limiter on the left after you've done your search. Many scholarly journals contain book reviews. Sometimes they can overwhelm your results. If you're looking specifically for articles in Summon, you can then under content type say that you want journal articles after you've selected scholarly and peer reviewed. For more help finding scholarly articles, feel free to contact a librarian.